What is up? It is about 6.30 in the morning. I just signed up to hike Knife's Edge. <laughs> and I am so freaking nervous. I thought about it all day yesterday. I was like, do I really want to do this? I looked it up online, did some research. It looks absolutely horrifying, but I, I really want to try it. So <laughs> I just signed up. I'm on the Helen Taylor Trail right now, I think which leads to nice edge so it's going to be an interesting interesting hike probably the hardest one i've ever done so we'll see so i'm like the tiniest bit sore from hiking katahdin yesterday as well a um, little bit of arch pain my quads are already burning but i i do plan on warming up at uh some point today hopefully um the park ranger did not recommend i hike back down knife's edge to get back to my car but i really don't have a choice so yeah i'm planning on hiking back down knife's edge too so but it, you know if it's really scary and if i don't think it's going to be safe i'll of course take a different way down the mountain but yeah I found this wicked spot to take a little break here. Drinking some water, hydrating a little bit. Might have some healthy food. Might have some crap, I don't know. I'm just gonna sit here and just look at this gorgeous view. So I'm pretty sure I don't need any type of special gear to hike this trail. I was nervous I'd have to have some sort of rock climbing stuff ropes i don't know <laughs> it just seemed super dangerous but so far all the other day hikers i've seen don't have anything special looking so hopefully i'm not missing anything <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where i'm climbing oh boy Okay, now I know why people say it's sketchy to go down this mountain because there's a lot of loose rocks. I feel like you can definitely trip pretty easily on them. And it's just straight down. Start a little avalanche with your body. <laughs> kind of scary. Oh my god. What is that? I'm pretty sure there's nice edge, guys. Let's on that. Let's freaking go. I can do this. I just climbed down that. Now, I'm giving this peak a go. Alrighty. We are doing okay so far. That's the trail in front of me. Every now and then I feel a little bit shaky because there's, you know, a cliff on this side, a cliff on that side, and I haven't reached the highest part yet, so, but I'm doing this thing. Woo! Just a little skinny trail, and big old cliff right next to it. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming. Alright, it's 9 a.m. And we so far. Just had to take a little bathroom break. It was a little awkward because I'm like staying on top of a mountain completely exposed, but <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do.
Look at all them rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. Beautiful. Just hiked up all of that crazy stuff right there. All of that stuff. Now, pretty sure I see the Katahdin sign right up there. Almost there. Definitely recognize that big old Karen. I was just there yesterday. Just now leaving Katahdin, Baxter Peak, I saw so many through hikers finish. Uh, one guy just reached the sign and just let out this huge scream, and it was so cool, so emotional. Um, yeah, I miss that feeling for sure. It was awesome to take their picture and to talk with some of them about their stories. Yeah. Got some cloud coverage here. I think I'll be all right though. I think some people just came up from that area and they didn't think it was that bad, so. This is why they call it Knife's Edge. It's just sharp rocks you're stepping on. And that is the trail, those little blue blazes right there. That's cool. I'm starting to see a little bit why people suggested I not take this trail back down the mountain after doing um the knife's edge twice just shaky and exhausted on top of that i did the hunt trail up to baxter peak yesterday from katana springs so i'm just tired i haven't been doing this kind of stuff in months and i don't know i think i'm past the really dangerous part though i mean of course i could twist my ankle now or break a leg but I'm not gonna like fall off a cliff or something. So yeah, just gotta make it down to some water. I'm really thirsty. I'm feeling a little bit dehydrated. Um, I think that's another reason why I was so shaky up there um, on those cliffs. Uh, so yeah, looking for water. People offered me their water, but I feel like that's theirs. They hiked all the way up here and that's their life source. And I'm not gonna take it from them. So it was my responsibility to to pack up water and I didn't bring enough obviously so yeah travel is sketchy especially when going downhill feels like a big old Mahusik notch but on top of a mountain all right so I have an update for you guys I am lost I don't know how I did it but I took a totally different trail down the mountain I don't know what I'm on don't know where I'm going, but um, yeah, this is kind of cool actually. I'm just worried about my ride. Hopefully there'll be people down here um, that can help me find directions back to um, the Roaring Brook campsite. So, oh my gosh. And I still have not found water yet. <laughs> All right, so I kind of have good news. So I think I'm on the Dudley Trail, the Dudley Trail. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, which leads to the Chimney Pond Trail and the Chimney Pond Camp or something like that. So, which leads back to Roaring Brook. So hopefully that's correct. And I'm reading the map right and I'll be back to my car in no time. I'm really hoping that that's right. <laughs> Thank God. This path is so nice and smooth. It's so much better than the rock climbing I've done pretty much all day. Nice little break from my feet. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, nice. Beautiful. So easy to walk on. <laughs> Roaring Brook campground is 0.1 away. I'm so ready to go to Camden, Maine, eat a humongous meal. I don't know where, I don't care. And just not hike anymore. It's been great, but I'm exhausted. <gasps> okay, so here is Roaring Brook. That's where I started. I did the Helen Taylor Trail up to this intersection here where Knife Edge and the Dudley Trail or Dudley Trail meet. And then I went to Baxter Peak. I went back on the Knife Edge, talked to some hikers here at this intersection, got distracted and went down the Dudley Trail. <laughs> so I got to this point and realized that I was lost. I didn't recognize anything. And so I also forgot I had a picture of this map. So I started hiking back up the mountain and that's when I cried. <laughs> then I was like, wait a minute, I have a picture of the map. So I checked the map and realized that this trail leads down to this chimney pond campground, which leads to this chimney pond trail. So I took that back to Roaring Brook. It was probably like an additional one or two miles on this little uh, Dudley trail, but it felt like eternity. I'm just happy to be back. <laughs>